day four of MSBO 2014, and we start our last video show report with the MSBS, a new Polish assault rifle project. My name is Krzysztof Koziem. I'm working in the weapon factory Radom. I am a sales specialist in this factory. MSBS is a completely new weapon which was made in our factory. It's a modular small arm system. Modular means that we have a few models which can give us a possibility to configure great weapon to your work. The main model in this rifle is an upper receiver. This upper receiver we, and the internal parts is common to the two versions, in the classical, like this one, and is common for the bulb up system. This weapon is completely ambidextrous. All manipulators is uh, placed on the both side. Reloading handle, magazine release, slide stop lever, and also fire selector. Gun project. This is our new pistol in the caliber 9mm by, uh, by 19, in the Parabellum standard. Uh, uh, it's weight about one kilogram. It's made on the aluminium frame. The rest of the parts is made from the steel because uh, we cannot replace in the other materials because must be, must be strength with the double trigger mechanism. Uh, locking system is a browning system, like you see. Also, is a completely ambidextrous for the left and the right-handed stop lever. Uh, the stop slide lever is placed on the both side and also magazine release is placed on the both side. We have a few standards of the aiming devices. These aiming devices give us possibility to shooting on the distance 25 up to 50 meters. Can be also replaced for the uh, in the Picatinny rail, which can give us a possibility to connect any optoelectronic devices. And we can shoot much more quicker than the standard uh, sights. My name is Iftar Kleinman, I'm working for Rafael Advanced uh, Systems and we are introducing here an active protection system against RPGs and other anti-tank uh, threats. The system is installed on a typical 4x4 uh, vehicle, nevertheless it is based on our 25 experience in uh, developing active protection systems. The uh, heavier systems that we are introducing is Trophy HV which is installed on Merkava MK4 tanks. Uh, the system is fielded, uh, was fielded in 2009, and since 2011 have saved lives in numerous uh, cases against an advanced anti-tank uh, threats. We at uh, Rafael uh, check what are the threats globally, and we understand that RPG-7 is not the benchmark threat anymore. The threats are more, are moving into anti-tank guided missiles and tandem war RPG, uh, RPGs with tandem warheads. And this is the way we build our systems to defeat these threats and we have proven our success defeating such uh, threats in the past uh, five years. Trophy LV was designed to protect such a typical vehicles like 4x4 and 6x6 against RPGs, the entire RPG family. Unitary and tandem uh, warhead, it's a lightweight uh, system that is optimized for such, such a vehicles. The system has um, finalized 
the uh, development process and we are ready to provide it to the market, it is important to say that Rafael is the only company in the world that has matured two different active protection system technologies, so Trophy HV and Trophy LV. Good morning, Xavier. My name is Paul Harris. I work for Talus Protected Vehicles. So, I mean, what we have behind me is the Hawkeye Protector Tactical Vehicle. This vehicle is a seven ton, four to six man passenger vehicle. It's designed to provide highly protective mobility around the battlefield for command and control, liaison, reconnaissance type troops. Uh, we've developed to make sure it's got class leading mine blast protection, a scalable ballistic solution and also a very large payload of over 3,000 kilograms. I think it's finding the right balance of capabilities. The Hawkeye can be tailored to different customers' requirements, and every customer has different priorities. But if you want a vehicle that provides class-leading protection, balanced with very good mobility, and at the same time, retaining military utility, in other words, having the space, the payload, the volume required to carry equipment around the battlefield, then I think you'll find the Hawkeye one of the best in the class. We're delighted to be here in Poland. Uh, obviously we are very interested in the Polish market and uh, we think our vehicle uh, has uh, many of the features that the Polish military may wish to consider. We've also uh, very prepared to talk about Polonisation and what we can do to provide Hawkeye in Poland, built in Poland by Poles for the Polish military. So this concludes our daily MSPO 2014 video show reports. Don't hesitate to contact our team for your future video needs, as we will be covering next in 2014, AAD in South Africa, AUSC in the US, Euronaval in France, and Indo-Defense in Indonesia. So long, everyone.